Hi guys, my name is GPS and welcome back to my channel. As you guys can see, I'm sitting on the floor again today, even though we're not organizing another part of my Air Mesh collection. Instead, today's video is actually inspired by one of you. I got a request last week to talk about my Hermes tableware and glassware collection, so that's what we'll be doing today. And I know it might not sound like the most interesting topic necessarily, but hear me out. Hermes tableware not only looks incredible on your profile, in case you're trying to build that to get approved for a Birkin or a Kelly one day, but these are also pieces that you can use around your home as decoration, and they are much more reasonably priced than the dedicated homeware that Hermes has to offer. I think it is a trick that a lot of people, especially interior designers, know about but don't really share because I have seen a countless number of celebrity homes in Architectural Digest, even on YouTube, where celebrities use plates as home decor. They put it on their coffee tables as decorative trays. They put it on their bookshelves, their kitchens, their bathrooms. And it makes a lot of sense because Hermes plates have some motifs and some patterns that are iconic to Hermes but they don't offer these pieces in their homeware section. And they are much more reasonably priced and who wouldn't want to save a couple hundred dollars because that's really the price difference between home decor and tableware when it comes to Hermes. So today I thought that I would share with you my collection, my tips and tricks that I picked up along the way and even show you guys pieces that I use for eating and the ones that I use around my home as decoration. So if that sounds interesting to you, then please keep on watching. First of all, I want to apologize in case you guys have picked up on the fact that my videos have been quite gray looking lately. It has been raining like crazy in New York for the past week. I don't know what's going on considering that we're going into May, but it has been really rainy and quite gray outside. And while I do have one light that I rely on for filming, I do need a lot of natural light. And when it's raining out and quite cloudy, of course, the light that's coming in is quite gray. So in case you picked up on the fact that my videos have been a little grayish looking, that's really the reason and I apologize. There's really not much I can do. So I guess we just have to deal with that for now, but hopefully the weather will improve shortly. But anyway, let's talk about my personal collection and how I started out uh, collecting these. So the range that I decided to pick up is the Mosaic 24 collection in Palladium. This is, I think, one of the most iconic range that you can pick up from Hermes when it comes to homeware. There are a couple of different motifs within this collection, but they all have the either the classic Hermes full on logo in there, or at least a little H, depending on how big is the piece that you pick up. Uh, this particular design comes in two different colors. It comes in palladium and it comes in gold. I decided to go for the palladium because first of all, my home is much more cool toned. As you guys can see, my blankets, my pillows are all kind of grayish looking. So it actually goes with the weather, but I personally like more of a cool tone design for my home. But in case you like more warm tones, the gold one is also an option. I personally would not recommend that you go for the gold one. In my opinion, it's a little loud and it reminds me a lot of Versace. And if that's kind of design that you want to go for, then I would recommend that you look at the Versace tableware because I have a feeling that it is a little bit less expensive, but it has a very similar feel to the gold um, mosaic pattern. But I decided to go for the mosaic 24 in the cool tone version. And what you have to know about buying tableware from Hermes is that each piece comes individually. So you guys will see that most things I either have two or four off because that's just really the way I like to build my, build my tableware collection. But you do have to buy every single piece individually, even their forks and knives. So if you want to pick up a fork and knife from Hermes, which are stunning, you do have to buy them individually and you have to buy, I think one fork, which starts at about like $300 or something like that. But it is a great thing if you want to buy this for decoration, but if you're trying to build maybe a dinnerware set or a full-on tableware set, it is going to build up in terms of cost because you do have to buy each piece individually. So it is something that you have to consider. I personally love the fact that you have to buy them individually because that really allowed me to build my collection slowly and gradually keep buying pieces. Whenever I had some time to go into Hermes and browse around and I found something, I was able to pick up one or two of these and I didn't have to buy you know, an entire set for $25,000. I'm just putting in a number there. I don't know how much it would cost if it came as a whole set, 
but it is something that you have to consider that each one of these you have to buy as one piece. Hermes has, I think, about nine or ten different designs that they offer in their tableware collection, but I personally would recommend that you start out with either the Mosaic collection or the Chantonk collection. I think those two are the most um, iconic for Hermes, and if you look at them, you will automatically know that it is from the house. The rest are obviously very unique and beautifully made. Well, not all of them. There are a couple that are very outdated in my opinion, but most of them do look really nice. But I think these two, the Shandong and the Mosaic 24, are the ones that are, when you see them, you automatically know that they are from Hermes. So that's the one that I started out with. And then I will show you guys every single piece that I have and how I would set up my personal collection if I was hosting a formal dinner, which has actually never happened. So. I don't know why, but I did end up buying the entire collection over, I think, it took me about a year to build up my entire collection. I didn't buy every single piece immediately. There are pieces that I don't own from the Mosaic collection because the fact that you have to buy pieces individually allows you to buy the things that you like and buy the things that you don't. Please ignore what I just said. The main advantage of each plate being sold separate is that you can pick and choose and you only have to buy pieces that you actually like and you're not required to pay for a large set that might contain plates that you would never really use. And you don't even have to stick to buying pieces from the same range. So let's talk about mixing and matching different patterns. So as you guys can see from the video, my collection is more monochromatic, so I decided to buy pieces from the same collection. But in order to make it a little bit more fun and a little bit more youthful, I decided to mix up the shapes instead of mixing up the patterns. So when you go into Hermes and you start buying these pieces, they usually ask you what, of course, what range you like, what patterns you like on your plates, and then what shapes you want to go for. Within the mosaic pattern, you have two different shapes that you can choose from for your plates. You can either go for square or you can go for round. And what they usually do if you're building a more traditional tableware set is that they would uh, get you pieces that match both in pattern and in shapes. What I decided to do is I decided to actually mix and match the different shapes. So my presentation plate is round. Then I decided to add in a square plate for my dinner plate. And then this, I think this is a dessert plate or, yeah, I think this is a dessert plate, but you can also use it as a bread plate or whatever you really want to. And then I decided to add on top another square plate. So it kind of breaks up. It's not as... Um, boring, it's just a little bit more interesting, a little bit more youthful, that you have a different shape in case you're hosting a formal dinner or if you're someone who has a dining table and you want to have these as decoration at all times. I think it just looks a little bit more contemporary and youthful. So instead of mixing up my uh, different patterns, I decided to mix shapes. I think in the future I am going to add in a couple of different patterns for plates. If you're trying to mix prints, I think the mosaic pattern is a really good one to start with. Because when you start mixing these different patterns, it can really quickly become bohemic and a little bit um, eccentric. And that's not really what Hermes is all about for me. I find Hermes to be much more of a sophisticated, clean line. If Hermes means bohemic to you, then more power to you. You can do whatever you want. You can buy as many different patterns and mix them and match them as widely as you want to. But personally for me, I like more of a clean look when it comes to the Hermes brand. So for me personally, I decided to stick with the same pattern and just mix and match the shapes at the beginning. However, now I'm at a point when I have a full on collection within, or at least a full on collection for me, all the different plates that I need. And now I think what I'm going to do next is I'm going to add in a couple of the plates that I use the most, just in different prints. So for me, the one that we use the most is this little plate, which is a dessert plate, or we not only use it for dessert, we pretty much use it for everything. It is a great size for just a regular lunch or dinner portion. And because this is the one that we use the most often, I'm actually thinking about picking up a couple more of these, but in different patterns. And the two patterns that I'm actually considering picking up pieces from, one of them is inspired by the jungle or I don't know, I call it a jungle print. I'm sure it has nothing to do with that, but it has different animal prints on it. I put a picture of the one up here that I'm planning on buying at some point whenever the stores reopen. And I think it is a really nice way of spicing up your collection if you have a very simplistic and clean line of plates. And then you maybe just want to add in one smaller plate in a different pattern. What, so what I'm thinking about doing is adding in one of those jungle print plates into my collection 
or there is another newer design that has recently just come out from Hermes that has this beautiful hand painted um Oh my god, what's the word? These beautiful hand-painted leaves on them that are very tropical looking. And while I find them to be beautiful, I don't know if they're really Hermes. I remember talking to my SA last time I was in the store and we were talking about this new release because that's the newest launch that Hermes has had for tableware. And we were talking about it and neither one of us were really sure if that's something that I should be buying from Hermes because as I mentioned, when you look at this, you know that this is from Hermes, so you can kind of justify the high price tags. But when you're looking at something so summery and so youthful as a palm tree leaf, Hermes might not be the first brand that comes to mind, and you might be able to pick up something similar from West Elm or from another high-end home decor store, where plates are not going to be hundreds of dollars, instead they might be like $50. So I'm actually asking for your opinion, guys. What would you think? Would you recommend that I pick up the palm tree version for as a new plate for my collection? Or would you recommend that I pick up the jungle print to add to my mosaic collection as kind of a new color? And I really don't know. I'm kind of stuck at this point. I like both and I find both of them to be really unique. But neither one of them are really iconic to Hermes. So I feel like I can go either way, but I don't know, I still find the jungle print to be a little bit more unique and a little bit more intricate, whereas the palm tree one I feel like I can buy from other brands. But at the same time, I find both both of them to be very beautifully made. So I'm kind of stuck about that and I would love to hear your thoughts and just let me know in the comment section down below if you think I should go for the jungle print next or the palm tree one next. I wouldn't buy the entire collection as I said, I would just add maybe a dessert plate in or maybe a dinner plate something that's a little bit more unique, but I would definitely not repurchase the entire set because I don't need two tableware sets at the same time. As I mentioned, buying these plates is a great way to add a touch of RMS to your home. And I personally use some of these pieces for eating. For example, this one we only use for eating. But these pieces, the one that we use more for dinner or lunch, I have quite a few of them and I not only use them for eating, but I also have a couple in my apartment. So I put a couple of clips up here. I have one of these as a tray in my entryway that I have sunglasses on. I have one of these in my kitchen where, where I keep all my vitamins and my supplements that I take. So really you can do whatever you want with these. You don't necessarily have to use these for eating. For example, for the bigger ones, the biggest plate that I have from RMS that I use for uh, either as a presentation plate I actually use on my coffee table right behind me as a little decorative tray where I keep some candles and some different things. So you can really be all creative about these. If you have the bigger pieces, you can put them up on a bookshelf and it has the big Hermes logo on it, which looks very elegant and quite artsy. So obviously the sky's the limit and your creativity. And if you want to add a touch of Hermes to your home, then I feel like these are really a great start to do that. And there are a couple that I don't actually have in my collection, but I know a lot of people use as home decor. They have a, this little tray, I think it's called a sushi tray, or I think it used to be called a sushi tray, but now they changed the name. I put a picture of it up here. A lot of people buy it as a tray for their jewelry, but I actually have another piece that I wanted to show you guys. This little piece uh, we bought for kind of condiments and salt, pepper, or different kind of spices in case you want to have that with your dinner. But you can actually use this as a little tray for maybe jewelry or if you take off your jewelry when you're taking a shower, then you can put all of those things in, in here and you can keep it in your bathroom or next to your bed, depending on where you take off your jewelry. So as I mentioned, really your creativity is the only limit when it comes to plates and actually Hermes in general, I think most of their things are quite multifunctional. So I would recommend that you have a look on their website. I think they have quite a big range available on their website. So just have a look there and you can easily let your essay know which pieces you'd be interested in so they can source that for you. So when it comes to tableware, it's really simple. You can go on their MS website or you can go into stores whenever they reopen. They have a catalog and you can look at the different designs that you're interested in. And then you have to buy the pieces individually and you can pick up whatever you fancy. However, it does become a little bit more complicated when you start talking about their glassware because Hermes, as a brand Hermes, they actually only have a handful of different designs when it comes to glasses. And the one that I own is the Interval Glass Set. 
again, you have to buy these individually, but there are only, I think, two or three different designs that you can choose from. There's the Interval, which I personally love. I think it's quite contemporary. They are super weighty, as you would expect, and they go actually quite nicely with the mosaic set. And then there is another design that Hermes has. I'm not quite sure what it's called. I put the name up here, but as I mentioned, when it comes to Hermes glasses, those are really the only two options that I can think of. And then the rest of the glasses that you can pick up from Hermes are actually not produced or branded by Hermes. They are all created by Saint Louis. And Saint Louis is a heritage crystal maker from France that Hermes acquired a while back. They were a very small company that Hermes was a fan of, so they ended up buying them and slowly integrating them into their own offerings. So while these are pieces that you can pick up from Hermes, they go on your Hermes profile, you can buy them from your Hermes essay, they're going to come in a different branding and packaging than regular Hermes items. Whereas these glasses come in Hermes boxes and they actually have the Hermes brand logo on the inside. So when it comes to Saint Louis, these pieces are a little bit more traditional in terms of design. If you think of Baccarat or another big crystal maker, they're very similar to Saint Louis. So personally, I don't have many pieces from them. I think I only have a martini set. I personally prefer the Hermes glasses, but I only have a few of them. So in case you want to build a bigger collection or you want to buy a decanter and a martini set, or when you want to build at a bar, you won't really be able to do that with the Hermes branded designs, you would have to go to Saint Louis, which is perfectly fine. You can pick them up from Hermes, but I want to mention that they are a little bit more traditional and I tend to go for the Hermes designed and created glasses. And while not every single store carries Saint Louis, you can buy them from any store. Your essay should be able to transfer them for you. But I think bigger stores like Madison, I can think of Madison for sure who carries them and the Miami store, the Miami store even has a separate section for Saint Louis. These are pieces that you can pick up from Hermes, but I find them to be a little bit more traditional, a little bit more, in my opinion, outdated, and they are not as unique as the Hermes designs. So for me, I do own a couple of pieces from them, but as I mentioned, I tend to prefer to go for Hermes. And this is it, guys. This completes my video about all my Hermes table and glassware. I hope you guys find this video helpful and fun. And if there are any other videos that you would like to see from me, then make sure to let me know your requests in the comment section down below. And if you enjoyed this video, then please make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you being here and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.